Hi there, and welcome to C3 Integrated Solutions Microsoft Office 365 Tutorials. My name is Beth Trimmer, and today I'm going to teach you about presence and chatting in Microsoft Outlook Web Access. In this session, I'll cover what presence is, how it works with Outlook Web Access, and how you can chat with colleagues using instant messages directly through OWA. Let's get started. First things first, what is presence? Presence is a feature of Office 365 and Link that allows you to see useful information about a contact and shows you the best way to communicate with them at any given moment. This information is built into each contact, so you can view it pretty much anywhere you can see a contact's name. And it uses your Outlook calendar to keep track of whether or not you're busy, so your presence will automatically change to busy or available based on the appointments on your calendar. It's one very good reason to keep your calendar up to date. Let me show you what I mean when I say presence is available throughout OWA. When I click on an email or meeting invite, I see the name of the person who sent it to me as well as their picture if they have one, and a little colored bar to the left of their picture. If this bar is green, I know the person is logged into Link or OWA and is not currently in a meeting. If it's red, they're busy. Yellow means they're not in a meeting but haven't been at their computer recently, maybe they went out to lunch and gray means they're not logged in, or if there's someone outside of your company, they might not use OWA or Link at all. You'll notice when you log into OWA that your own name and picture with that same presence indicator bar are up in the top right-hand corner of the window. If you'd like to manually change your availability to something else, let's say you get pulled into an impromptu meeting that isn't on your calendar, just click the teeny arrow to the right of your picture and choose a different status. Note that if you use the Do Not Disturb status, it will block contacts from sending you chats, so only use it when you truly don't want anyone to bother you. Speaking of chats, starting one is as easy as pie. Find the contact you want to talk with, either in your contact list or anywhere else in OWA. Then just right-click and choose Chat. A basic chat window will open, and you can type your message and hit enter on the keyboard to send, just like any other instant message program. Keep in mind you can only chat with someone if their presence indicator is green, red, or yellow. Anything else means they're not logged in or they don't want to be disturbed. And keep in mind that a red or yellow indicator indicates they're busy or not at their computer right now, so you shouldn't expect an immediate response. So that's all there is to it, everything you need to know about presence and chatting in Microsoft Outlook Web Access. Check out the next tutorial in our series, Settings in Outlook Web Access, on our YouTube channel. Or for more information about Microsoft Office 365 and C3 Integrated Solutions, check out these links below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.